let's use AI to go from this, a sad looking spreadsheet that just has the email address of a customer that just signed up for our product, to this, a fully populated spreadsheet that includes a bunch of useful information about the customer, along with some suggestions of how they may want to use our product. We're going to use Relay.app for this, which is an AI-powered workflow automation tool. If you don't have a Relay.app account yet, you can sign up for one uh, by following the link in the description below. With that, let's dive in. So here's the workflow we're going to end up with. It's going to have a trigger when a new row is added to that Google Sheet. It's going to use Gemini 1.5 Pro with built-in search to do some web research about that customer. It's going to extract the key information from Gemini's web research into structured fields that it can then write back into the spreadsheet row and give us the nice final output of the fully populated row. Let's start with the trigger. Now this one has a super simple trigger. Whenever a new row is added to that particular Google Sheet, we're gonna start a run. You could add additional optional filters here if you only want to do enrichment for some subset of your customers, but in my case, we're just gonna do it every single time. Next, our first AI powered step is the most important one. This is gonna use Gemini 1.5 Pro with the ability to search the web live to do some research based on that customer. In the step, I first selected Gemini 1.5 Pro with built-in search in the model selector, and then I created a detailed prompt telling the AI what research to do. So I said, a customer just signed up with this email address. Please look up their website based on splitting out the domain from their email address. I want to identify the following information, the company name, the description, and the top five suggested automations they could use Relit App for based on examples in our gallery that would fit the user and business. And then I added some additional helpful text like there could be multiple companies with similar names. Please check carefully if you've identified the right one and show your work so that we know which searches you've executed and which websites you've looked at. Next, once we have the output of Gemini's research, we want to extract the key information from it such that we can write it into our resulting spreadsheet. For that, we're going to use another AI step, this time an extraction step, and we're going to use GPT-40 Mini. We're going to extract from the AI output of the previous step, and we're going to output the company name, the description, and the suggested automations. And again, we give the model some help that says, for the top five automations, please ensure they're extracted as a numbered list with line breaks. Finally, uh, for our last step, we're going to update the Google Sheet with the information that we just found using our AI steps. So here we have an update row step in Google Sheets that's going to take the company name, the description, and the suggested automations from the AI output of step three and write it into the Google Sheet. Now that we have the workflow fully built, we can test it out with a real use case. So to do that, we're going to hit start a test run, and we're going to use the row that I had already created, which is my own address, Jacob at Relay.app. Once we start the test run, you'll be able to see step-by-step step what the AI is doing and which automations are being executed. So right now you can see that we're in the Gemini 1.5 Pro prompt step where we're using built-in search to navigate the web and look up some information about the company. Now that, that finished, the OpenAI GPT-40 mini step is gonna extract the key information from that response. And finally, we write it to the spreadsheet. Now, if we head over to the spreadsheet, you can see that we filled in the company name, got a nice description, and five suggested automations. So if you're new to AI and you're looking for an easy way to get value from it, this kind of customer research can be awesome. It only takes a few minutes to set up and it saves you a ton of time. So check it out and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.